New in PSIM 2021 is our EMI filter design tool. We're looking at the template now where you're able to place your power converter uh, on the right-hand side and your power source on the left-hand side and use this to start to design your EMI filters. Use the listen network and a signal analyzer element to separate out the differential and common mode noise from the EMI spectrum. The common mode capacitor element down here allows you to easily define all of the various coupling common mode capacitors that you would want to put in. The EMI design suite allows us to study single phase and three phase systems, single phase being either a DC input or single phase AC, and three phase being a three phase AC input. In this system here, we have a Vienna rectifier with the three phase source. We have the three phase listen network connecting to the three phase signal analyzer to separate the differential common mode uh, noise components. Uh, the filter, for the filters, we can use an L-type, a Pi-type, or a T-type, and these are all the three-phase uh, filters. They're the same for the single-phase systems as well, and we can see that we're able to include parasitic components to all of the inductors and capacitors to allow for non-ideal components to be studied. So these are all one stage. You can also toggle to a two-stage filter if required. Additionally, when we consider the listen networks, we have several different listens dependent on which standard you're going to be using. These are for single phase. We only have the one three phase listen network uh, right now, but we have several for the for single phase systems, either DC or single phase AC. And there is a ground plane element which allows you to define a non-ideal ground uh, connection point between all of your coupling points. So this is uh, the three phase uh, EMI design template here with the Vienna rectifier. And here is a fascia full bridge converter with the element in use, the power supply on the right-hand side and the source on the left-hand side. And you can see common mode capacitors have been placed throughout and are defined on the left-hand side here what their values would be. We're using between 500 pico and 50 pico. When we run the simulation without the filter enabled, we can see in our time domain simulation uh, what things look like. Our output voltage we see is stable at around 400 volts. When we run an FFT on the EMI, DM, and CM components, and overlay a, a CISPR standard, we are able to choose from a variety of preloaded standards or define our own standards, in this case, the CISPR 25 class four, we can see that we are failing in all aspects. So what the filter design tool does is we need to identify problem frequencies and how much attenuation is required. And we insert that into the filter. And when we design the filter and run with the filter, we get uh, this waveforms now. So we see we're still stable at 400 volts and we, our frequency spectrum here is now very different. And we can see now that when we overlay the CISPR standard on top of the new uh, noise spectrum that we are now passing nicely. This is uh, our design tool. It is appropriate for power supplies and for motor drives. Here's a motor drive example. We see again, the motor drive on the right-hand side the power source on the left-hand side, and our common mode capacitors have been placed throughout.